What's going on, Lego Maniacs? It's Ty, the Lego guy here, and welcome to another Old School Wednesday review. Today we're taking a look at one of my all-time favorite old sets, and my favorite set to come out of the wave, it is the Lego Vikings Viking Ship Challenges the Midgard Serpent. That's set 7018. It has 578 pieces, six minifigures, retailed for only 50 USD, came out in 2007, and nowadays this is going for $340 new, or 152 used. I'm probably giving it away. This set is amazing. We're gonna take a look at the positive and negative of it, really break it down, and show you guys why I like this set so much. We have a new Viking ship that's coming out with the exact same name, so that'll be interesting. Maybe I'll compare the two, but enough talk. Let's get right into it. And to start us off, we'll begin by giving you guys a 360 view of what can be considered the smaller build. It's definitely smaller than the Viking Longship, but it's not really that small. This thing, this sea monster, is about a foot in length, or about a third of a meter in length. So it's definitely not tiny. What I like about it too, is you can move it around somewhat, however you want to kind of display it. There are some limitations, but it's not too bad. The other thing you can do is, if you want to make this eat a Viking, you can do that. It can very easily fit inside the sea serpent's mouth. Overall, do quite like this one. It's kind of a mix of Bionicle along with bricks, and I just think it really works. As far as when I say Bionicle, I mean Bionicle pieces. Let's now take a look at the meat of the set. And here she is. So as you can see, this ship is massive. I don't think that there is a single set that is more fairly priced than this. This thing is two, me two feet in length, or about half a meter in length, and maybe six inches in width, or about, I don't even know what that is in meters. In centimeters, it's about 15 centimeters. This thing is huge, just massive. If you just looked at it, you'd think it's a hundred US dollar set, but it's half that and you also get the sea monster. As you can see, there's a lot of detail going on. What's also amazing about it is, check out this sail. This is probably the biggest sail I've ever seen on any set. It is material as well, it's not plastic. This thing just looks so intimidating. I'd love to have maybe one or two more of these. If you uh, made a big mock with uh, three of these in it, I think it would look amazing. Let's now break it down area by area. And the first part of the ship that we'll take a look at is going to be just the bow of it. As you can see, there's a dragon at the front. This is something the Vikings actually did, which is interesting. So it's somewhat historically accurate, although the horn helmets, hate to break it to you guys in case you thought that that was historical, it's not, but it does look cool, so I'm not complaining. Right here we have a little location where they store some of the shields. We will show those off right now. They are sticker pieces, but they do look quite nice and you get two of them. They are different, which is another thing that I liked. And you'll notice they have this siege weapon right here. And this is probably one of the best working features I've seen on a Lego set. So you notice this little basically trigger these were used in the soccer sets. Well, if you pull it down, oh, that's anticlimactic. So I fixed it up a little bit. The trigger wasn't in there all the way. At least it seemed like it wasn't. So let's push it down and try again. Yeah, okay, so that worked really, really well. It's a little hit and miss. You kind of have to have it positioned correctly, but if you hit it just right, it will work. But it is a little old, so maybe that's part of the reason why it's not working too well. As you saw, the first one really shot off correctly. I might need to replace this piece, but overall pretty cool feature. Moving to the side of the ship, you'll notice all these different shields. Just looks so cool. And in the interior right here, they have a little area where they can cook some turkey legs. So you'll notice there's a fireplace and you can even rotate it. 
which is kind of cute. And I just wanted to show off the sale again. Check how big that is. It's the biggest sale I've seen on any ship. Now, if you're wondering if this ship floats, it does not. Reason being is there are some little holes on the bottom right here, which do not allow it to float. Thought that question might come up. And moving to the rear of the ship, you'll probably notice this floating prison. You can very easily put a prisoner in there. Let's just demonstrate that. And what's cool about it too, is you can raise and lower it. And I'll show you guys how that kind of works. It's just this Technic toggle. You have to raise this basically pin. You could even lower it into the water if you wanted. <laughs> if you wanted to make him drown. But if you want to make it a little less morbid, you can literally just land it right here. So I thought that would be a lot of fun to play with if you were a kid. You also have some hidden treasure in the back of the ship where the Viking King kind of hangs out. So if you raise this little ladder, you can access the chest. And inside of the chest, you have some blue rubies. So I mean, they're Vikings, of course they have to have treasure. The one other thing that I just wanted to quickly mention before we take a look at the minifigures was the fact that there is a keg along with a couple swords right there. I would have liked them to include some cups. There is no cups in this set, but I mean, that's a very, very, very minimal knock. This set is basically near perfect, if not perfect in my opinion. Let's now take a look at the minifigures. Here's the first three minifigures that are included. So they just scream Vikings. You can't get any more Viking than the way these guys look. Love the fact that these guys are yelling or gritting their teeth. Let's just remove their helmets. This guy in the middle looks as Viking as they come. And just in case you're wondering, his torso is exactly the same as this guy's. He just has some armor on, which looks quite good. Moving to the rear of the minifigures, none of them have any back face printing back torso printing, which is surprising since in 2007 they started to do stuff like that, but the fact that they don't have it, I'm not against it. They kind of more so have that classic look. Let's now move on to the final three. And here we have the Viking King along with two other Vikings. Love the fact that he has a gold helmet instead of just a gray one to kind of distinguish him, and along with a gold sword. Let's remove their helmets. I will say that these guys don't look quite as Viking as the previous three. Viking King definitely does, but when I say the two that don't look Viking, it's this guy and this guy. They don't look bad, just not quite as Viking as the other guys. Give you guys a view of the back torso and back face printing, which there is none. They didn't do that with the Viking theme. Love the fact that this guy has a big ax strapped onto his shoulder. I just think that looks really, really cool. The torsos on these figures are excellent. Scream Viking, which is what you want. Let's now get into the end of the review and get my final thoughts. Well guys, that was my review. Do hope you enjoyed it. This set is a 10 out of 10 or an 11 out of 10. It has everything you'd want a ship to have. I mean, check out this big sail. Look how big this ship is. It's like two feet in length and about, I don't know, six inches in width. It's not supposed to be really be too wide. You get a sea monster, six Vikings for 50 bucks. Where do you get something like this for 50 bucks? It's unheard of. The new one that's coming out, I think is like 100 USD. This is half that, and I know it came out all the way back in 2007. However, still, this is a great deal. I mean, it doesn't get better than this. If they were to bring it out a set like this, it would be off shelves so quick and maybe adjusted for inflation to be like 80 USD. That would be such a good deal. Overall, I really like this set as that's probably come through in the review, but there's good reason why. I mean, you get an awesome sized ship and you also get a pretty decently sized sea monster. Personally, I really want the Viking theme to return. I think it would be amazing. Maybe with this creator Viking ship that's coming out, they're gonna think about doing it again. 
And that's part of the reason why I thought I'd get this review out for you guys around this time because we're getting that new Viking ship. And uh, yeah, it's just kind of cool to take a look at the older one. But as always, let me know what your personal thoughts are in this one. If you like it, if you don't, any areas you think they could maybe improve on it. I just think it's really, really good. You get six minifigures, a big ship, you get a cloth shit sail or a material sail, I should say, and you get a big sea monster. So overall, I just really, really like this one. But that pretty well does the review. But if you liked it, leave it a thumbs up. And uh, yeah, if you're new to the channel, you know, definitely consider subscribing, especially if you like older sets. And click that bell so you're notified for any future old new sets we do on the channel. We do basically two of them every single month, and I love doing them, especially when they're one of these sets. This falls into my top 20, if not my top 10 sets of all time. But that's all I got for you again. But thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.